No, I'm with the triple beam team, bitch. What's up, y'all? We back with another one. Today, we about to go over some FL hotkeys. Now, nah, first, what I'm going to do is go over some of the ones I already know. I already know a lot because I've been using FL for over a decade. And then we finna go over the ones that I don't know by looking at the FL studio guide or any type of screenshot that got the FL shit on it. So, first, my most used one is Control B. For example, if I go here, click some hi-hats in, right? I will hold Shift and then drag like that. And then, you know, I will have a, a set of hi-hats in, right? But then, I can go right here and control B that motherfucker and then copy and paste it like that. Now, my patterns when it comes to beats are usually eight bars. Yours don't have to be, but that's just how mine is. Other than that, it would just be, you know, you can highlight um to your selector and then copy and paste it with control B again. And you can do it with this whole thing. But you can still do that same thing with control B. It's just that some notes, for example, if they aren't if they aren't lined up with the grid, you will see that they'll copy and paste to the exact next beat. Like I got it on a quarter quantization like it's gonna copy and paste right next to it so you know what i'm saying if you can't do that this is a good way to do that is highlight over this but with your left click on your mouse and then control b so that's a really good useful one especially when it comes to you know i mean even in the track list you can still use it same shit you know what i'm saying it, it applies to the same concept the next one we can go over scrolling through your pattern selector now um i really think this is a good way to do it and to be honest, I'm going to switch to putting my camera on my mouse here so that y'all can see it a little bit better. Now, I think y'all can see everything. Y'all can see my whole keyboard. Now that y'all can see this shit, a great thing to do is, as you can see, you know what I'm saying, you got your tools right here. So if you want to scroll through them, I learned this on stream. Somebody taught me this shit on stream. Um, You can scroll through them by holding your right click and going through them like that. And I didn't know you could do that. You know what I'm saying? If you hold your right click on your mouse, you can do anything. So for example, if I want to draw some shit in, and I'm about to teach y'all this next. When I draw some shit in, I can go like this. But then if I want to copy and paste it, I can go here, control B, control B. You know what I'm saying? And to make it like easy as hell for you to copy and paste like that. That little thing I just did with the paint tool. So you can really shift b your paint tool shift p your pencil you know what i'm saying it's going on the left so i'm gonna uh, um i'm gonna move this um now that y'all can see that so if you look on my my corner my left upper left corner you can see that everything that i'm clicking when i press shift b you know this is the cut one obviously the easy way to do it is just scroll through them okay you know what i'm saying i figure we can learn some other shit on along the way this paint tool you just hold shift and you just draw with your mouse like that so you can do it on any beat obviously a good way to do it to uh change your quantization or your snap would be to go backspace and i guess you can switch it i, I don't know it doesn't give you the option to do anything there but you know we're gonna find that out okay because i don't i don't know everything um we're gonna go to a little example beat so i can show y'all how to render the beat so basically have a beat already done right Can render this however you want to i do this shit all the time and when i learned this high key it saved me a lot of time on coming up with the name for my project and rendering it and it's just a little bit more efficient control shift r for mp3s okay that that's 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 how that'll work control shift r control r is for wave it's for wave file as you can see down there and it'll say it right next to it so you don't really have to go looking because some a lot of the keys they will already say like save as save save new version control o for open so you know what i'm saying if i want to open an flp or a zip file i can just go to control o and i don't have to open a folder and drag it in you can do that it's an option but you know control o is you know Stay in your, stay in your dog and find whatever the fuck you need to find there. You know, obviously you got these, you got your metronome. I can turn my metronome on and off. All of these, I, I literally don't use all of these, but these are very useful, I assume. So if you, if you want to be more efficient with those, you can. Uh, F11 for project info. So you, oh, okay. I just learned that. You bring F9 to bring your mixture up. I didn't even fucking know that. I'm just pressing shit. So you press F11 to bring up your project info. You know what I'm saying? Which I didn't even know you could do that as well. I just learned that. Control E, step editing mode, I guess. You know, all of these hotkeys are for projects you want to open. So I can easily just hit Alt forward, open dirty money, money. 
without even looking at it to save it as a new file you know what i'm saying as you can see it has two right here and then um i'm not sure if there's a hotkey to make a new uh, an empty project you know shift control s is you know you save as and shit. everything is pretty much next to each other you know what i'm saying like i said earlier if there's a specific pattern you want and it's at a specific spot look let's say i put it right here you can click Control c and put it in this one and, and press Control v so it'll be like kind of behind it or it'll place it somewhere else but you can still place it where you want to place it and then you can enter shift and with your arrows and put it wherever or you can left click and put it wherever the fuck you want to okay that's pretty cool when i sound design i put everything on a step sequencer and turn it up to 522 and then time shift it in the pattern selector i mean in the um time shift it in the functions the miscellaneous functions and so what i would do is if i'm if i want the sound to make a specific noise or something uh or i just want to sound design it i would go here and bring up edison with Control e which before I didn't know you could do this and it's really useful because I used to have to try to bring up Edison through the mixer every time and I fucking hated doing that. So this is a really useful high key, you know what I'm saying? Um, also, a lot of people ask me this because I've sound designed it. I've sound designed on my stream plenty of times and people was asking me like, bro, how the fuck do you turn your sound up when you sound design in Edison? So now what I'm gonna do is i'm gonna get like a quiet sound or a sound that doesn't that isn't like normalized we're just gonna trim this shit for example right so as you can see this is really quiet bring up Control e you can trim this motherfucker like this Control x obviously Control x uh, you know what i'm saying Control z if you want to undo it Control z again if you want to redo it right you can um get this you know what i'm saying take it out Control X. But then if you want to amplify it, you do Alt A. And what I like to do is just accept, 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 accept. You know what I'm saying? Those are that's one of the ways I do it. Now it's normalized like it's fucking loud as hell. Probably chopped a lot, but I've been recording for 17 minutes so far. You know what I'm saying? But like we're gonna do now is just we gonna go over some shit that I haven't went over. There's a lot of shit that I learned just by clicking shit, but pretty much every time you hover over something it's gonna be a, a hot key you know what i'm saying it's gonna be a hot key in your upper left corner and you just gotta look at that motherfucker like alt w you know what i'm saying you can look at the waveform so it's gonna look different if i play something for example and like you know i don't want it like that obviously I don't want it like that so i changed it back oh so if you don't want to see the effects that you have on your master you can press Control enter I didn't, and i did not know that f2 i'm guessing is the way you can rename and color shit so if you in your mixer and you trying to rename and color something you would press f2 click over it and press f2 or you can use your arrows you know what i'm saying press f2 then boom rename chicken wow wow you know what I'm saying? Like, rename it a new shit. And so now, oh shit. And so now, what we finna do is we just finna go over shit that I don't already know. And then we finna just teach y'all that shit. And then, you know what I'm saying? Then we gonna be good. Um, because I know it for a fact, it's a whole bunch of shit that I left out. And I've been recording for 20 minutes. So I'm a, I'm a damn near have to chop this shit up so much that I'm gonna probably get overwhelmed, but I don't get no fuck. Cause I'm just like that when it comes to this shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm really him. No, I'm just playing. All right. So I will put this in a bio. God damn, bro. This shit bright as hell. Here's all of the FL keys. You know what I'm saying? Um, Hopefully this video helped with a lot of shit that y'all already didn't know, but I had a couple requests on FL hotkeys. For my returning subscribers, I know that this tutorial is kind of basic or whatever, but I really just want to give the new people a chance just because it's a lot of people just starting off. And like the way I efficiently work 
is different from a lot of the other ways people efficiently work. And I left a lot of shit that I know out because uh, just my process with doing this shit. Um, you know what I'm saying? I, I really think this is not that bad of a... It, it, see, it's a lot of shit. What the fuck? Somebody told me this on my stream too, I remember. No, it was on like a comment on my YouTube and I was low-key salty about it. I'm like, bro, it was like low-key like a backhanded compliment type shit. I'm like, man, shut your bitch ass up. So I didn't, <laughs> I left this one out too, y'all. Hold on. Uh, Let me turn my light on so y'all can see me again. If you want to shorten, depending on where you got your quantization, if you want to shorten your notes, you can press, um, I think it's shift D, control L. Yeah, control L is to um, make them all against each other. Control D is to make them shorter. Now, if I was to put the envelope on, let's say I go like these. Control L. And it's damn near like having cut itself on, except you don't really need cut itself now nah, because your envelope ain't even going over the next note. You feel me? Then, you know, we're just going to copy and paste this. All you to chop, y'all. All you to chop. So that's basically that um a good way to copy and paste your shit is like you can like usually what i'll be doing is this like i'll put a couple right here control b one time and then i'll click my right uh i'll right mouse click but yeah i'll put one right here control b control b again now you got eight claps you know what i'm saying for your eight bars or whatever so what I'm guessing is what they said is you can route to your mixture track and then you press F6 to bring up your channel rack. I guess you press control L to bring them up all on the mixer. I'm not sure if maybe you got to select them first. Let me see. Yeah, 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 you do. Okay. I didn't even know you could do that. Wow. And y'all see me cook up a lot of times. I've never did that. I just literally learned some shit just by fucking doing that that's insane Whew. well that'll save me a lot of fucking time because i'll be having 800 million fucking you can hold backspace right and then change your shit without bringing all this up i didn't even know you can do that so you gotta scroll you know what i'm saying when you hover over it, over your backspace you can see the grid changing right there too that's dope i didn't even know you can do that control space so i'm guessing when you oh my god that's so fucking good because now i don't have to i can go here and be like Oh my god, what? So, okay, so you hit control space to pause wherever you want to. So, I'm going to turn these down. Okay, so <laughs> that's another thing I didn't teach y'all. So, one at a time, man, one at a time. So, uh, Alt X, okay, to fade in and fade out. Yo, um, yo, whatever your control is. So I got it on velocity right now, but I'm just doing this for example, so I can get to the next thing. Um, but you press Alt X to change the velocity of whatever MIDI you put down. Okay, it doesn't work with everything. Like if you use some VSTs, it won't register the velocity with it. If I want to go over here, I can press this while it's playing. Shift, control, left arrow. Okay, let's do that one. Okay, so on your last clicked MIDI, you can press shift, control, and it'll, it'll do that. You know what I'm saying? With your arrows. So shift, control, hold, and then, you know what I'm saying? You can do that. So exit, delete everything, obviously, and then I guess you can do this too. Which I didn't know, which I'm gonna have to use that. I'm gonna have to really practice using these hotkeys, y'all, because y'all know I'm I, I was old school. I wasn't using none of them fucking hotkeys for real. Like some of them I was, but some of them I wasn't. Oh, so another useful one that I left out. So hi hat rows are a big thing when it comes to trap, right? So like I always get niggas asking me how I do this, and I be you know trying to teach them every time. Just to make sure they get it. I would draw in my high I would draw in my hi-hat rows. Like that, right? You can change the velocity of them by holding shift and going like this. You know what I'm saying? Or you can hold your right key and fade them. You know what I'm saying? So that's how niggas be doing all that crazy super trap shit. Fade them in. Your target control, you can change it by hovering over it and um, uh, 
scrolling with your mouse so y'all can see my velocity is like these uh okay something has happened and i'm not sure why i did that but you can change your velocity however you want to pretty much but it'll calculate whatever you're doing and then you hover over and you can change your filter cut off you know what i'm saying and you can change your pitch And it, the range is from, you know what I'm saying, 12 notes or whatever. So, you know, you don't have to even do all that other shit. And then you can change your, your channel pitch and your channel panning and volume. You know what I'm saying? But you can do everything within your note properties and your channel controls if you want to. You know, it's up to you. And that mixer shit earlier when I was doing that, I didn't even know you could do that. Boom, 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 boom. I didn't know you could do that. So that's very useful. So I'm definitely use that and that control L shit. Yeah, this shit right here. I'm definitely using that because that's so useful. Just doing that like that. Bro, I'm going to knock out these beats in no time, bro. It's going to be so easy. Control A, select all mixer tracks. So I guess you can go right here. Like, boom, as this. Select all of them. Boom. And then control A. Oh wow, I didn't even know you can do that. I know I keep saying that y'all, but I literally, this is a surprise to me. Okay, I'm a new founder with all these hot keys and shit. Yeah, so it's so, it's so many, it's so much stuff. And I've been recording for 40 minutes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but if y'all want to go look at this shit, y'all can. Practice using these hot keys, y'all. I definitely inspire y'all to practice using these hot keys because they definitely useful and... You know what I'm saying? Even I learned some shit just sitting doing this video and learning and doing this shit, man. Taking a couple hours out, just knocking out, editing, making a thumbnail, trying to teach y'all how to, you know, be faster and making beats. I mean, like I said, bro, as long as you remain a student to the game, you will continue to learn a lot of things with FL Studio as I have myself. So my store is still 90% off right now. I know I post this video today as of June 1st. My store is still 90% off. I'm gonna do it for like a couple more days probably. Make sure y'all go get that John Glick 4 if y'all haven't. If y'all a new subscriber, make sure y'all get John Glick 4, man. It's freaking a couple dollars. The All Kids Bundle is $21, man. Uh, make sure you subscribe, leave a thumbs up on this video, share with your producer friends. And yeah, man, I hope this video was helpful towards y'all. I know it's a lot of people that's still new to using FL Studio, as I said earlier. And I'm just trying to be the most helpful person I can. And I'm just trying to attract a, an audience that is just new to still using FL still, you know what I'm saying? I'm still new to this YouTube shit as well. I only been on here for like five months, not even a year yet. We out of here, y'all. Appreciate y'all, man. We at fucking 2.5K, man. We about to hit 2.6K in no time. Y'all niggas been going crazy, bro. Y'all can see it right there, uh, right there. But yeah, 50 Twitch followers. Make sure y'all follow me on Twitch uh, at as gang right same as my youtube man on twitch all the links are in the description the fl shit is in the description all of that take care of yourself man love y'all glick gang we out no i'm with the triple beam team bitch